Since 3M EW5000 primer contains chromate, settling will gradually occur. This means when a recirculation system is used, the recirculation pump should be kept on while spraying. If a pot spray gun is used, the spray gun should be swirled every minute or two. Although you do not have to swirl or agitate waterborne primers constantly because the rate of settling is slower as compared to solvent-borne primers. It is always a good idea to wear safety glasses with side shields when handling and spraying adhesive primers. In general, the spraying of 3M EW5000 primer is very similar to traditional solvent-borne primers. The typical spraying distance for 3M EW5000 primer is 8 to 12 inches from the part. Due to its higher solids content, each pass of EW5000 will produce a thicker primer layer as compared to solvent-borne primers. For this reason, controlling the amount of primer in each pass is very important. As a criterion, one should achieve the target thickness of 0.2 mil in two to three passes. In other words, each pass should generate about 0.07 to 0.1 mil primer thickness. At high humidity conditions, thickness to build per pass should be reduced to 0.05 to 0.08 mil by adjusting the fluid control knob and increasing the number of passes to three to four. 3M EW5000 primer can be sprayed consecutively for two passes. Flash in between passes is not necessary, although allowing for flash in between passes helps to produce a better appearance. Although it is possible for 3M EW5000 primer to achieve the target thickness in one pass, it is not recommended. Multiple passes will provide better uniformity of the primer to the parts, especially large parts. The primer should be sprayed in a box coat pattern. One box coat has two spray passes that have a gun swing pattern perpendicular to each other. Thus, 3M EW5000 primer should be sprayed in one to one and a half box coats. After spraying is complete, it usually takes about two to five minutes to flash off depending on the humidity and temperature in the spray booth. At this time, the surface is tack free and can be handled for other operations such as flipping over to spray the backside of the panel or checking the thickness. You may find a blotchy appearance of the part before bake depending on the temperature and humidity in the booth. This is completely normal and will disappear after bake. Thickness is one important quality control factor for bond primers. Traditionally, pre-bake primer thickness is estimated by comparing the color of the part to a color standard, such as a step panel. The pre-bake thickness of EW5000 primer can also be estimated by the same method. Due to its non-tacky surface and pre-bake film integrity characteristics, the thickness can be spot checked using a thickness gauge. The thickness gauge should gently touch the surface of the pre-baked, primed part. The thickness measured prior to bake is usually about 10 to 15% thicker than the final cured thickness. Due to surface roughness, primer thickness variation, and limitations of the gauge itself, most thickness measurements can have 0.02 mil or greater standard deviation in thickness measurements. For this reason, the measurement of primer thickness should be based on an average of multiple points of measurement rather than a single point of measurement. To get a representative average, the points of measurement should cover a random pattern over the entire area of a surface. When measuring multiple parts, you should check the calibration of the gauge frequently and recalibrate with the standard as needed. Make sure the calibration of the gauge is done with the same type of substrate that you are priming, including the same type of metal and the same type of surface treatment. After spraying 3M EW5000 primer, the parts should be air dried for 30 minutes prior to the bake. In warm conditions, over 80 degrees Fahrenheit, the air dry time can be shortened to 15 minutes. 
The air dry is necessary to allow any residual water to evaporate. The normal bake cycle for 3M EW5000 primer is 60 minutes at 260 degrees Fahrenheit plus or minus 5 degrees Fahrenheit for both 250 Fahrenheit cured and 350 Fahrenheit cured adhesive applications. The oven should be vented outdoors or to a suitable emission control system. For alternate bake cycles, please contact your 3M sales rep or 3M technical service. Once the part has been removed from the oven, it is ready for adhesive bonding. To clean up the spray equipment after spraying 3M EW5000 primer, first unload the unused primer back into the container. Then wash the equipment with deionized water. Next rinse with a cleaning solvent such as MEK, MPK, or acetone. You must read and follow the safety and health recommendations provided by the solvent supplier. Open the equipment and clean the inside and individual parts with cleaning solvent. This helps to maintain the quality of your equipment. Be sure the equipment is completely dry before the next use. If equipment is used for multiple primers, make sure to follow the suggested cleaning procedures for each primer used and dry the equipment thoroughly before spraying a different primer.